Welcome to the Batman 56 channel. And we're playing, um, oh, American Truck Simulator. And we're hauling a load. Oh, wait, no, she didn't go to bed yet. Yeah, that would have been a problem. Okay, now we're hauling our load to, of a transformer that weighs 1,020, or 123,000 pounds to Albuquerque Q in New Mexico. That most gas. We have to be there in 54 hours and we currently have, oh, what is it? Oh, F5. And we're currently 20 hours away. So, we still got some, to burn some time. Turn that off. And yes, the video I was talking about, that was Yellow Flash who loaded up a video about Marvel Comics. It says, Marvel Comics backs down comics industry, some god only knows what. And I'm going to play it and listen to it and react to it, because, well, I don't mind supporting Flash. Hope we can get his, con his message out there. See, I'm a gamer. And Flash is a uh, comics guy, or a comics pro. Well, uh, he, he knows more about comics than I do. That makes him a pro in my book. And, um, oh, what is it, Tug? that umbrella guy and Rage Golden Eagle those two have their books coming out and Tug has already had his book come out so yeah they're selling comics and they probably have people buy more now the comics industry gaming industry and like even the TV industry all suffer under a delusion their particular delusion is that they believe in our relation oh let's keep it to the relations simple men women relationships they think they're the women, and they have all the good stuff, and they're the ten, and that we should just be grateful for anything they give us. That is wrong. They are the men. They have the stuff. We are the women. We have the stuff they want. But they don't whine us, or dine us, or treat us like we're the best things on the face of the earth. Nope. The pros and all that treat us like dirt, like we're just cheap whores, and we're just supposed to hand over our money like they're our pimps and just be happy. No, game doesn't work that way. You want my money, you gotta wine me, dine me, have something I want to buy. Case in point, this game, I bought this game with just the, um, with just the um, bundle, which came with Washington, Oregon, and a couple of things, and uh, heavy load missions. And that's what this game came with. I bought all the other states, and the other heavy load missions, and even a couple of skins, because I thought it was an awesome game, and it deserved my time. And money. But, if they came out and started demanding I pay them, I would be like, no, go F yourselves. I've got better things to do than work for some ungrateful person who doesn't even like me. So when they, people get entitled with, oh, we're entitled to your money, we're going to make only freaking, um, oh, what is it, in games, which I affects me, in games it's all live services. Everything's got to be a live service. We have to live service everything. We have to have complete control. We have to make um, $2 worth of content and then charge you 20 bucks for it. Shit, um, who was that? It was, um, Activision. Activision charged a dollar for a freaking dot on the screen. Seriously? People have lost their freaking minds. And, um, oh, was it? Who was that other one? The guys who made, um, freaking Dead or Alive Extreme, um, Koei Tecmo. They charged a dollar to change your character in um, the other live six, to change your character's hair color, it's a buck each time. Like, really? You think I'm going to pay you a buck each time I want to change my character's hair color? Nope, not going to happen. So, yeah, you need to court me to get me to cough up cash. Can't just throw out stuff and expect me to go, yeah, that's so cool, that's so awesome. No. But comics pros are just as bad as the people who make the games. 
sitting there, you have to just worship the ground we walk on and be grateful for whatever you want. Well, the stuff you're doing with our comics, we don't like. We'll suck it up. Just pay us, man. Well, that attitude is wrong, and it has caused them to lose a great deal of money because as they get wrong and arrogant and entitled, I'm sorry, my wallet is closing, and I'm not about to slide its ass open for anything. You don't treat me like dirt and expect me to pay you. Not gonna happen. So, let's listen to... Um, Oh, Yellow Flash's video on Comics Gate without running into What's this police car. Really Comics Gate back down, Comics Industry comic industry industry collapses, continues. Like I've said in the past couple of videos, I think one of the most interesting things going on right now is watching the comic book industry because it's really on the verge of collapse. It doesn't have the money like bigger entertainment industries and. It hasn't been doing well even before everything that's going on right now has happened. So there's a lot to talk about with comic books. Comic book pros are still doubling down on treating fans terribly. Uh, you have Diamond about to fold, and DC and Marvel potentially not going ahead with their digital comic book plan. So we're going to get into everything that's going on. Also, that crazy She-Hulk writer, well, she's came out again with a stupid hot take. This time she managed to irritate people on her side of the fence, which I find absolutely hilarious. And because of that, she ended up deleting her tweets. So let's get into that. But first, we've got to check in with New Warriors. Now sitting at 186,000 oh, dislikes. And I'm pouring absolutely it. Absolutely amazing to watch the internet come together to hate something that is so stupid. Uh, Mr. Exper Maybe they can use some experimental internet gas to make this go away. I don't know. That could help. But anyway, New Warriors case. doing terribly. Gotham High also doing pretty bad in 18K. Though I will say, Gotham High, I don't think anywhere near as this bad as New Warriors. Both are crap. He's working his butt off, but... Needed, but I don't think anything as bad as New Warriors has ever existed in comics. This is definitely, in my opinion, uh, the, the top dog of cringe. So the biggest thing I want to get into is this. Diamond warns of cash flow problems. Halt payment to vendors. This is actually a really big deal. Okay. It is? Diamond has a monopoly on distributing comics. True, I've heard that. Your comic shop gets everything from Diamond. Image, Marvel, DC, uh, Boom Studios. All of them send their comic books to Diamond, and Diamond sends them all to comic book shops and whoever. So, the reason this is a big deal is Diamond's broke. It kind of looks like they're broke, and they might Ooh, fold. Good. If Diamond folds, even if everything were to clear up tomorrow, right? Let's say everything, oh, there's the magic cure, everything's fine, everybody go back to normal, to your normal lives. The comic book industry would still be in trouble, because now who's going to ship comics to comic book shops? The system, like, is gone at that point. And, and honestly, in my opinion, it was stupid to let Diamond have a monopoly on shipping books. And they're paying the price now, almost to the point where this could ruin the comic book industry. We'll see what happens. Mm. I hope they... I, I would like to see Diamond fold, to be honest. And if there's one good bright side of all of this, if, if the comic shops can come fold. out of this, is maybe we'll get another way for comics to be distributed and Diamond can get out of here. Diamond is terrible. They're not a very good company. They, they don't have a very good service from what I from what I understand people I talk to unless you have a really good rep uh, but for the most part the biggest problem is their billing the way they ship books there's a good channel on YouTube this guy unpacks all of his comics and most of the time like half of them are damaged and all kinds of stuff because they have a bunch of clowns working in their warehouse that don't, don't, for some reason you think would understand that comics are very fragile you know, maybe you need to be careful because people I, I definitely don't want a comic with a bunch of corners all bent in and stuff but nonetheless it's actually a more of, it's more of a problem than you would think it is so let's go over this Diamond Comic Distributors is holding previously scheduled payments to its vendors this week attributing their decision to cash flow difficulties due to what's going on I can't talk about its impact on the supply chain it's a beer virus a letter to Stan Heidman the president of Diamond's parent company uh Jeppe Family Enterprises. The distributor explains to its vendors that they are no longer receiving consistent payment from our customers and that as a result, they will hold payments to vendors previously scheduled to release this week. For the layman, Diamond's customers are direct market 
for specialty comic book shops, mail order services, bookstores, and other retail operations who buy discounted products from the distributor to sell to their own customers. Vendors are the comic book publishers and manufacturers of games, toys, collectibles, etc., who depend on Diamond to distribute those products to retail stores. And then we have the full letter right here, which if you want to pause the screen, you can read over it and see for yourself. So this is a very big deal. This is a very big deal. Um, if Diamond was still going, comic book shops, like I said, could do curbside pickups and ship comics to you. The, the, the industry could still somewhat limp on, but this was a big thorn in the side of everybody. So from what I understand, Image, DC, Marvel are all working on ways to get comics to shops. Ooh, I'm a You could see comic book shops kind of somewhat partially reopened. But unless they can figure out a way to do this quickly, I don't know. Everyone's waiting on that bailout money. We'll see what happens. But Diamond could potentially fall. And if the comic book industry survives everything, I think that this would be a good thing to happen. Diamond is not very good. A bunch of clowns. They've always been a bunch of clowns. And I think it would be nice. You know, if we can get things going again, you could maybe see comics back in stores. Like, DC Comics has comic books at Walmart. They're there. There's giant size issues. They put a bunch of older comics in there for a value price. It's just a thought. It's something you could see, but I'd like to see the shops get reopened so they don't fold. That's kind of the biggest thing. A couple of just fold, I think, like last week, like three or four of them fold, like last week or the week before That's so that. sad. And you're going to see more of that, more than likely, especially when rent becomes due. In the meantime, it does seem like there will be no digital comics. I just did a video the other day talking about DC Comics. Those plans have changed. We're going to get into that. But first, Image Comics confirms no digital or print books for April 1st. You have DC Comics releasing select digital comics. No Batman. Uh, this uh, is different than what I just did a video on the other day. So retailers got mad. There was backlash. They changed their ideas on that. So now they're going to just be doing collections and digital first books only so there's like a batman the animated series continuation mm. that was always going to be a digital only comic book so that's coming out but as far as releasing batman 92 and some other titles that they were going to do that's done they're not going to do that oops i took out the sign stop, which is good <laughs> uh, so one thing in the, in the past story I, I said from what i understood they weren't doing returns. They weren't going to do returnability. So when printing books, so when the when the comic book shops opened back up, the books that you know would have came out April first, the the printable ones, they would have been able to return those. But here's the thing: they still have to pay the money to Diamond, and then go through a whole process to get that money back from DC. And top of that, Ooh, I took out another box. Right now. This trailer is just huge. Of a lot of people worthless because they're old. It's just a hassle. You're hurting comic book shops by releasing them in the first place. Unless you can find a way to get the books to a shop, don't release them digitally until you figure out what you're going to do. Are you going to go digital platform? Then, then you know, move forward with that. Man, those trucks are fast. Books. But uh, for right now, comic book shops are hurting. It was a bad yeah, announcement. More by truck. They backtracked. Marvel is doing the same thing. They waited till like the last minute to announce this. So I think they were sitting there kind of thinking about it. They more than likely saw the backlash that DC was getting because retailers were pissed. So likely they said, hey, all right, look, we're not going to do it. And now things have grind to a halt for both businesses. And that's pretty much a wrap for now. Now, the real question is, where do they go moving forward? I think they are going to figure out a way to put together a new distribution network, or they'll just ship the comics themselves. So they they all have printers they use. They'll get there and they'll just start fulfilling the books themselves in some way. Here's the problem, though, is that brings in a lot of cost. Now I don't know how much they pay Diamond to ship versus just doing their own plans, but like I said before, AT and T, Disney. This is like new bills they have to add in. Will this cause a mutation? I don't know. There's a lot of really interest. This is why I said, like, I find this interesting to see what's going to happen to these companies because, for one, you know, this isn't some Hollywood company. Remember, Marvel and DC aren't connected to their entertainment, their entertainment sides of their TVs and their movies. They're their own thing. The comic books divisions are their own thing. So uh, they are not quite as coveted as their money-making counterparts like the movies and the animated series uh, the comics really don't make anything they're seen as boutiques in fact i think uh dc was seen as like 2.7 percent of revenue 
or something like that. I think it was like $300 million is all they bring to the table. Uh, that's kind of a drop in the bucket to Warner Brothers. I would imagine Marvel would probably be about the same amount of money as a drop in the bucket to Papa Disney. So you know, where things go from here, I don't know. We'll see. But like I said, I'll keep you informed. I think this stuff is really interesting to watch. Finally, let's start off with some trash, or let's end things with some trash fire here. That writer for She-Hulk, well, she's been at it again, this time taking some shots at Star Wars The Rise of Skywalk, which to me is fine. It's a horrible movie. <laughs> Not a very good movie. I have never watched it's it. It's a mess that you need to buy downloadable DLC to really understand. You need to read the Star Wars visual, the Star Wars novelization book. You need to read some comics. Uh, you need to read that visual dictionary. Of all kinds of stuff to really understand the mess of that movie. The movie's a mess. So you need to watch and read all kinds of crap just to get the full story. Uh, so here's what's funny though. She puts this tweet out here. Uh, the thing I can't talk about is going to be like Rise of Skywalker. It's a nightmare. It's going to be a struggle. But when we're going to get... But then we're going to get to come out... Yeah, we got up to 80. Never uh, this, of course, enraged people on her side of the fence. They got mad as hell called it unsensitive and all kinds of stuff. Uh, she's been on such a roll with them with her hot takes lately. Uh, this, of course, did not go very well, and she ended up deleting it. I find that absolutely hilarious. So she did get a little bit of a cancellation there, but I'm sure she'll make a better trash tweet or something and get right back in good graces with them. So, so congratulations to her for making a fool of herself there. It was very funny to see. So anyway, that's pretty much it. What's going to happen to the comic book industry? I don't know, but I'll keep you guys filled in. I've uh, been following this closely, so we'll see what happens. Uh, i got another video coming up later today, so stay tuned for that. Let me know in the comments what you think about all this. Do you think comments will survive? Do you think Diamond will get replaced? Uh, do you think Diamond will just open back up and be fine? What are your thoughts on that? What do you think about that show? I don't know. Writer? Uh, what do you think on her? What do you think about the comments? You know, I'd like to hear your thoughts on that. Also... If you would throw a like up, that would be appreciated. And share the video, that would be appreciated. Make sure you still subscribe. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. And stay safe. Hmm. Also, if you want to help support... Oh, he says, you want to help to support the channel, go buy some merch from the Flash store. Yeah, I don't buy merch. Well... Oh, 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 oh! What the? What the heck just happened? Everything was going along swimmingly. What the hell happened? What's my s four, two, and zero? Thank God the thing's okay. I wish didn't take my eyes off the road for a second. Oh my God! Now I'm at. <coughs> Excuse me. Totally freaking out. I got too close to the wall or something, and did did things. It was going so swimmingly. So, so swimmingly. Oh well, that's what I get for snagging flash of stuff. <laughs> so, about that, not really much for moving me on that one. But it does hurt that the diamonds hurt in the comic shops. Because those are just mom and pop shops. There's not really, I mean... I've never heard of a comic book chain, or, but then again, there's like Noble, that's bookstore, but most of your comic book shops are mom and pop shops owned by mom and pop people. And so, by Marvel releasing garbage and DVD releasing garbage that nobody wants to buy, that just hurts the shops. Those mom and pop dollars everybody's so worried about. don't know. Just like, I don't know what happened. 
when I ran into a wall all of a sudden. Well, Chuck seems to be fine, somewhat. I don't know. Can I get this beast back up to... It was moving at 80! It was wonderful! And the next thing I know, you damaged it! What on parts? That totally sucks. Don't touch parts. Again, why I don't like being so close to the wall. The wall takes no prisoners. Just ask me down. Oh, we have a way station. I just got this thing up to speed. Slow way down, speed limit here is 15. I just got this thing moving. It was awesome. Vehicle gross, 169. I haul your fat butt out of here. My fat butt was up to 80 miles an hour at one time. I remember when my butt was that fat and that fast. So either way, um, Yellow Flash has two channels, Yellow Flash and Yellow Flash 2, where he keeps most of the comic skate news and stuff is uh, Yellow Flash 2. So, and he makes some pretty good stuff. I would say um, go and subscribe to him. And to Zatabella guy, subscribe to him too. He's really awesome. They're really awesome guys. I mean, really awesome. I wouldn't have any subs at all if it wasn't for Tug and Rage of Golden Eagle and Turd Flinging Monkey. I really wouldn't, because they've had me on their channels, or I've asked them for subs. He's like, hey, you need subs? Tug, definitely. Hey, you need subs? Yeah, I can use some subs. Yes, sir, could I please have some more subs? And he says, sure, hey, guys, go over here and harass this guy. Which is awesome. Because I've been trying, I mean, I've just been working it by myself on my channel here. Playing video games, hoping to become popular. I was doing pretty good with live streams, but I can't live stream with my computer. Which sucks. I should get a VPN to protect myself. So people can't do bad things to my computer from a distance. Because that would totally suck. Come on, I, I'm not even getting back up to 75. <laughs> By the time I get there, there's going to be another another house or some stupid thing. Eloy, Twin Falls, next right. Where the heck are we? Still in Oregon? Oh, just before I end this video, I will check the map and we can find out. Ooh, what are you hauling? That looks kind of cool. I'm hauling a giant transformer. Ooh. And I haven't screwed up all that much, which is really cool because that first one was like, woo. But this truck is just so freaking heavy. It takes forever to get up to speed. See, we're already up to 80 and I'm only up to 45. And I'll have to probably pull it over in about five minutes to stop the video and start it over again. Oh, what was that? I don't know if that was a Mustang. Doesn't have the taillights for it. That was an SUV. Another SUV. This is like SUV ter terrific around here. Plenty of cars, plenty of road, a whole bunch of crap. Look at 
compared to my last mission, this actually hasn't been too bad. Really kind of appreciate it. Cruise control at 70 miles an hour. Cool. I could take 70 and be happy. I don't need to be greedy. I do. Let's get this bad boy up to 780 again. Even though good things don't happen at 80. Okay, we'll call. Whoa. I'm catching up to that car way too fast. Darn it, I was doing too good till I had to hit the brakes because of that car. The poor cars. Entering some crazy ass city. Oh, I crashed into a car. Oh, I hate it when I crash into cars. But I can. We'll just keep going. I still got a couple of minutes before I should just pull over and start over our sort of game. Pretty little city there. As we're passing through, just passing through. Salt Lake City. So we're in Utah. Yeah, I learned that last time I was here. Nope. So, look at the map. I have to pull over. Well, let's call this video here. Thank you for watching me on the Fat Man 56 channel. Thank you for being entertained by me. I really appreciate any time you spent watching any of my videos. Have a good night.